Is this proof we are living in a simulation? Take a look at this research paper, which utilizes ChatGPT's large language model to simulate a miniature world and you won't believe what happened. So this paper is called Generative Agents Interactive Simulacra of Human Behavior. And here we have this visual. So the main idea was to create this video game style setup where they have rooms, there's objects, and there's 25 characters which they call generative agents. And they wanted to see what would happen when they put them into this simulated world, which they were to base this off of a popular video game such as Sims. And essentially, if you've never played that, it's basically like a real life world. However, it's virtual on the computer. Now, this layout does look like the older Pokemon style game designs or any of those 2D games that you probably played as a kid. But the general idea was to give it some basic information and then let the AI loose and see what would happen. So in this figure, essentially what worked out was they end up creating their own conversations, doing tasks just like humans, and this was based off of nothing, just straight up AI figuring out exactly what to do on its own. And you can see here, for example, these conversations, joining for coffee at a cafe. Now, from the eye point of view, this looks like a normal thing humans do. However, this is AI generated. They have no idea what coffee is, what is a cafe. Joining, meeting together, having a conversation, that is and not a human thing. This is computerized, generated. And the fact that they go and have a conversation such as, hey, Klaus, mind if I join you for coffee? No, not at all. Abigail, how are you? These words seem very normal to us humans on a daily basis. But for the fact AI knows, hey, I'm asking you to meet up, grab a drink of coffee. And then it says, sure. And then I even ask, how are you? And it knows when to ask it. That's already insane. And some people might not understand the advancements this is, but don't worry, I'll show you some more examples, which will make a lot more sense. And then even here, doing morning routines, going for a walk in the park, going to school, things that AI does not know are normal, it ends up doing it all within this little miniature sandbox simulation. So here they even state generative agents, they wake up, cook breakfast, head to work, artist paints, authors write, form opinions, notice each other, talk to each other in conversation, even remember and reflect on days in the past and the next day, all stuff that humans do that we have no idea is not uncommon until we see a computer generated model doing it. And that is literally mind blowing to me. And here you can see where they reference ChatGPT and they connect their architecture to the large language model. And that essentially is how they manifested this game with the 25 characters. Now, let's take a look at some more examples of how mind-blowing this experiment is. So here is a overview of the visual sandbox world that they have. And if you don't understand coding, basically they have it labeled with the specific areas such as co-living space, bar cafe, and then the children underneath. So there's essentially parents, children, and what that means is just the uh, sub details. So for example, the things that aren't as big, so like houses, cafes, etc. And then even below that is the more little tiny details. So like tables, bookshelves, little tiny things like that. And they have that stuff labeled. Then the AI would go in and actually understand what these are and knows that this is where you go ahead and cook breakfast. This is where you go to sleep. This is where you go to school etc now the way they have it to understand each character is they created this simple sprite avatar and they have a little paragraph so for example here is john lynn and in short it's a pharmacy shopkeeper at this market he loves to help people and basically it describes him doing things that a typical pharmacy shopkeeper does and then it talks more about his interest as well you got music and then also his family and pretty much it describes just some background history on this character which they have fictionally created and then from there they go on and let the ai do its thing and here's some more details talking about how impressive 
this is because they managed to have full-on conversations with each other. So on this example, we have Isabella and Tom, and they're talking about the upcoming election. And basically, you can see exactly the words that they've said. I'm still weighing my options, I, but I've been discussing the election with Sam Moore. What are your thoughts on that? And then Tom replies, like a typical human, to be honest, I don't like Sam Moore. I think he's out of touch with the community and doesn't have our best interests at heart. Now they do note that this is somewhat formal. However, still the fact that it has this AI conversation and it makes sense from a human reading it, that's crazy already. And here is, this is why it's so impressive because this figure showcases this AI, this agent character doing a morning routine as if it was somebody just doing their normal life. So waking up, brushing teeth, taking shower, cooking breakfast, catching up, packing, and beginning the work day. This has a time frame from six to eight. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you a visual of this stuff going on, which is so, so impressive actually to see it visually. And that is already life-changing. This is, I would say, to date, the stuff that I've seen in terms of AGI and human-like, this is very, very similar to stuff that I would expect to see in an AGI style AI program. So for example, when we talk about ChatGPT5, AGI being human-like, I mean, this is a prime example of the potential start and who knows the levels is going to upgrade in the next few years. Now here is a visual of this paper. And basically these are the characters. And if you wanna click on them, you can go ahead and see their literal miniature lifestyle. And basically it showcases this video style game screen and then it has the character just moving around living life. So you can see here, IR is washing, looks like doing hands or is doing something in the bathroom, and then the others are sleeping. So if I were to go ahead and scroll down, look for, and I think it was IR, let me sure I can click on it. I can see IR doing, looks like they're putting on clothes right now, or something to do with packing, whatever this is. Now they're cooking breakfast. And this is a visual of what we just saw in that research paper. And now if you wanna switch it over to a different character, all you do is simply click on them. So let's click on someone who's not sleeping right now. So like this one, LW. And it looks like LW is packing up, going to, I guess, school, or looks like a camera. I'm not sure exactly what's happening. But now you can see that they're going to go somewhere, which looks like walking around. Looks like a, some sort of yoga meditation emoji, not exactly sure. But this person right here, FL's brushing their teeth, it looks like. And this is all, again, remember, this is all AI doing this on its own. There's no give it exact details. So if you ever did coding or video game creation, you would know how crazy this is because it's literally, if you were to code this from scratch, you'd have to say, okay, I need character LW to walk here at this time. I need it to press these buttons to move and do this, 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 step by step, insanely complicated to do it across multiple characters and then also everything else it takes multiple hours if not days weeks to just do the same concept whereas we have this ai automatically just creating it all within their own database from what they have currently learned based off of the ChatGPT large language model from what this research paper was stating so now we can just pick one more person and we can see why why they're actually out here having a conversation with another character in this game and this is just a general overview which you can see how impressive this is so this is just the beginning so if you want to see the latest greatest updates on ai news tech softwares be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching